QR code, I hate them too. So we're getting rid of them. But if anybody <laughs> wants to scan the QR code or enter the short link, and you can call it short, and it's uppercase and lowercase, we're going to redo that. Move on. Okay, got it. Um, so we're going to be doing the presentation uh, on our product. Okay. So if anybody wants to try it out, we can do it right away. Um, yeah, one thing I wanted to say, uh, I really thank for the first five startups that did their pitches before the drinks now. Like the atmosphere is much more relaxed now. Everybody had a little bit more drinks, so you can just sit back and relax, and I don't feel that pressure anymore either. Uh, okay, uh, so hi from present day. I am Dmitry, and here is Nick. We're both co-founders, and we have uh, three more software development guys staying in Ukraine. And uh, we're just saving up on the space here that the Greece guys do. <laughs> bringing all the five guys uh, in here right away. Um, <coughs> okay. So, presentation. Smarter presentations with audience engagement. And the uh, uh, question is, how many presentations uh, did you do in the last month? And no worries if that's not too much. Because there is about 30 million presentations that are done in the world every day. And in fact, there is about 1 million going on right now. And there is about 70% of them that, roughly 70%, that really suffer from lack of engagement. And that's what we're trying to cure. No worries, we're here with a new product, the Disrupting Presentation World. So what you do, uh, you upload your presentation into presentain.com. You use your smartphone as a remote iOS or Android device. And uh, uh, you slide your slides with the remote connect the audience through their mobile devices and they get to be in sync with your slides as you control them on your device. And then you engage the audience with, uh, with all sorts of different engagement features we have in the product. Once you're done, the video of your uh, presentation is distributed to all the audience and then in turn they tweet and share and like along all their social networks and that get, gives you back the traffic from all their connections and helps your message to live on and on and on. Um, so let's go back to the previous slide. Basically, uh, now we're in the mode of trying to figure out most responsive marketing. We currently have 250 users of the system that provide their early feedback and trying to uh, help us understand what uh, kind of features resonate with the product with different audiences so that we can pivot to the specific niche. And we're targeting corporate trainings, educational sector, um, event organizers and individual presenters. So, uh, the team. Uh, basically, we got me here, who is uh, uh, yeah, who's got seven years of experience in product and project management, and he's the CEO. We got Tim, and he's a Ukrainian as well. He's a CFO, and he's got uh, over six years of experience in uh, uh, architecture and uh, software development. And there is uh, uh, two more guys in software development that he manages. And there is humbly me. Uh, who's a serial entrepreneur and I got gray hair to prove it and uh, could not be seen from far apart but there is, there is. Uh, so basically uh, I started uh, a software development company seven years ago ran it with me grew it to 90 people I started a couple startups failed some of them have a couple that are running and generating some revenue as I reported um, and now we're to disrupt the presentation world with this tool here uh, at SBC, we're after building a rock star mentor team, and uh, we really need help the way we feel with uh, fine tuning the business model, with trying to figure out the most responsive market fit. Uh, we are going to start sales and revenue generation during the three months. That's the plan, and we really feel we can do it. And we're after trying to get funded at a happy half a million, hopefully, but we'll figure it out yet. So thanks a lot, and for the question, how did you like the wine? <laughs> no, no. Would you like my cards? <laughs> okay, a serious one. Anybody uh, can advise us on their market fit. Like anybody feels what the market fit can be. Like uh, for the tool, if you understand it, uh, there is a chance to know more about it. But uh, uh, at the current time, <coughs> would you advise us on a specific market fit? That's a serious one. The room. Boardrooms and uh, bigger companies for it and uh, training. There's uh, defense for in, uh, yeah, consultancy groups that are training uh, big, uh, big uh, companies. Those are very interesting markets for you. I would balance that from the other side with small companies. So you might only have enough in the audience here to, to test because all of the big companies have the corporate systems, name it. But this one looks like an easy income solution, easy to implement. So <coughs> maybe a small company. 
sure is a test for sure. Companies that uh, organize uh, trade shows and seminars, so they get to put all the presentations of all the contributors of the day in one place. People can follow the presentation on the iPad, like you mentioned, and it's available for after the show. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're considering all, all of these. So it, it just reconfirms us. That's that's very good. We want you to see. Can you briefly just explain all the functionality that you have implemented at this moment? Because I think that's maybe, maybe a second. <coughs> a little bit, just a few topics sure. on, on what you're doing. So basically, uh, we're using the product right away. And anybody who was following with their smart device had the slides taken uh, simultaneously with me going through the slides. You could have shared the slides. You could have tweeted about the slides. That already generates right away the traction for me speaking. And uh, also, while I'm speaking, I'm recording the voice, so the remote control uh, turn flips over so that I point the mic out uh, into where my voice is going. And the telephones are actually very good with uh, sound quality. So while I'm doing this, uh, the voice is getting recorded, and then when I stop, uh, when I uh, click stop, it actually uploads the voice to the server and uh, automatically generates the video of the slides going with my voice over. So the audience receives that video and can re-watch it, can tweet it, can share it with the people that uh, really care about such content and generate all that viral extra traction to me and just you know keep on the loop of my material, of my presentation living and generating further traction. So they also get to see, like when I click stop, you'll see that uh, uh, on your devices you get an email field uh, saying, hey, would you like to receive a presentation? You put your email in and I received that email, so I automatically build my, uh, my uh, you know, audience and, get, uh, and end up with their contacts and so they receive the video, but I receive all the contacts. And basically, if I was a speaker with a thousand people in the audience, HP guy trying to sell big, you know, big software, big piece of hardware, like I wouldn't be able to speak to everybody who really wants it, just because there's a big line of people and the next speaker is up, up front here. But I'll receive all the emails, and so I'll follow up with my sales rep, wherever we'll follow up with all the guys that really are interested, interested in the presentation, and we'll be able to sell them. You know, any single piece of HP equipment, uh, you know, costs thousands of bucks. So any single person that I lost, uh, not having gone to him, cost the company multiple thousands, thousands of dollars. So in this case, we're capturing the leads as much as we can. What, what, inter <coughs> what interaction uh, possibilities do you have at this point? Right. And uh, basically, uh, once again, if you follow me on your devices, you could have asked me a question, type in the question, it shows up here, uh, red blurb here saying, hey, one, two, three questions came in. I pull it up, I quickly browse the list of questions, I pull out the list of the question that I want to answer, it shows up on the screen. Uh, and once again, the, the voice is recorded, so it becomes part of the presentation. And uh, I also can, you know, uh, sometimes there is people that ask, you know, silly questions or just take up time where you run back to the uh, to the last row with the mic. All the logistics of trying to figure out how to, you know, how to click the clickers, how to, you know, get this click all of a sudden doesn't work. Like, it, it works without solution. So all that logistics and, and extra friction, we eliminate it. And we bring up all the connection points that you can get out of the audience. Plus, we'll get, give the audience all the added value. So you can see, it means we can talk about this for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after a little bit of wine. So. Yeah. No, so I think that was already some interesting interaction. I see that people are feeling that, you know, there's a pain out there. We uh, used Presentain yesterday for the full presentation, and I can tell you it works very nicely. Still a few things that need to be fixed. Works not working today. On, not but today, I would but say, but sorry? But not today. Not, well, the, the thing is that that's maybe one thing to point out. It at this moment only works on uh, PowerPoint and PDF. And um, so not on Keynote, so you have to go to PDF. So next time, all the teams will use it. So we'll ask every team to, to, to put all the things together uh, because they have one big slide. So we will do it next time. Yeah. We're using it from, Yurid and I are using it from since yesterday. We really do. All right, give Thanks. them a big hand. Thank you.